GVB President Carl Guterres said they met with Governor Leon Guerrero this week about their reopening strategy. He says she's on board because she knows tourism is what will drive the recovery of the local economy. In fact, GVB asked her to help find at least $7 million in federal CARES Act funding, but the governor told him she'll look for $20 million. If she can get those uh, restrictions lifted and for us to be able to get a, uh, uh, an agreement with the federal government to spend those CARES money, in a foreign country without limitation, because that's where the problem lies. But we didn't stop there. I sent out a message to uh, to our delegate, uh, Mike St. Nicholas, uh, a couple of days ago, and I said, that, why don't you be a hero and see if you can get us $20 million. He says St. Nicholas responded, saying he'll try to fast-track a bill to provide supplemental funding for state and territorial visitors' bureaus to support tourism recovery. It would cover the difference between their revenues in fiscal year 2019 pre-pandemic and fiscal year 2020. Meanwhile, GVB Vice President Jerry Perez reported on the latest industry-wide projections. The consensus is that international arrivals are not expected to exceed 60% of pre-COVID totals, even by 2023. I think this is the figure that they're, per, uh, that they're forecasting in the aggregate for Asia. But I think if we are focused on our key markets and drive that market, we can probably beat that. But no promises. Paris said April remains the target date for the reopening of tourism here. GVB is planning a call to action campaign called Get Up and Move to prepare the industry and the island for the return of visitors. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lacanto.